All right, so this is the uh, Z-axis ball nut mount. Uh, I opted for the six holes, and uh, I guess you only need four, but I figured I'd do them all. And I was doing the power tapping um, on the Bridgeport Tude, and I'm not that... Well, I'm new to it. I started doing it yesterday. So um, one of these guys, this one here, you can see I kind of pulled the top of the thread a little bit. Probably the first three threads aren't very good. The rest of them are fine, but uh, those three got pulled when I was uh, t removing it um, from there because I was power reversing out of the hole, and then it was a tapered tap, and um, it was a starter tap, and once that got to the top, it kind of pulled the threads out. So if you use a bottoming tap, I think it would be actually better for that than this. But anyway, see how this guy fits. Now all of my ball nuts are ball. Yeah, the ball nuts have been the same. They're looser here, and the actual diameter increases closer to this collar and uh, or shoulder, whatever you want to call that. So that's been kind of interesting. So. At first, you go to fit the thing on there, and uh, it it goes right on, and then you'll end up having to bore it again if you don't double-check that measurement. I don't know if it was just my batch or what, but anyway, well, Haas has got this figured out. You see the, uh, the lines even line up here. He called for a 375 thousandths taper there and man that puts that guy right on the money uh so pretty typical all of his stuff has just been great so far but cool looking mount and let's see if the holes line up yes they do so yeah his uh blueprints don't lie and neither do digital readouts provided you're doing your uh math properly